for YouTube, so this is uh, hopefully uh, only a cheat here, so, uh, but it should be an iDRAC for my uh, R210, so um, I'm going to open this, it's quite hard to do on camera because I don't have the tripod uh, at the moment, uh, else other, other places, um, uh, oh, I can just pull it out the side, or not, it's quite um, tightly wrapped. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll open this and uh, show you. Um, I'm going to do a video of me putting it in my server um, and updating it to the latest firmware. So just got it in, came uh, very well packed, uh, except for one thing, they were just kind of together like that on top of each other. But it was, uh, I didn't see them moving a lot, it was just a static bag and a bunch of bubble wrap and an, all in a little box. Um, so props for uh, packaging. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my R210 out of uh, that, so that requires me shutting down everything above it, which is kind of annoying. Um, but then, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to pull the R210 out, and then we'll do this. And um, I'm in the middle of installing PFSense on it, and it's just uh, I'm trying to get it to work, and it's just being a, a little bit of a pain, so it'll make it a lot easier, because I can do it from my desk now, rather than uh, uh, the garage. So... So I've just shut off these two hosts. Uh, as you can hear, it's a lot quieter without it. Um, I don't even have to raise my voice. Like, I normally raise my voice when we're in here with them on. Mainly this one with the uh, bad bearing. I'll turn on the lights so you can see. But so what I'm going to do now is I've got to unplug everything from the switch. Because um, it's just sitting on top uh, at the moment. Uh, hopefully soon I'm going to rack mount this. Um, but it's all going offline. Uh, this server is already off. The only thing that's going to stay on is this and this. Um, so all that's unplugged there. And then we need to. Uh, this can kind of like sit down here. Um, when. Switch. Uh, this is going to become a VLAN eventually on that other switch. I'm just going to set it up properly. Um, so that's down. Came slightly quieter in here. Um, just that's on top of my old core switch. Um, this switch doesn't make a lot of noise because most of the time its fans aren't spun up. But uh, we've got to pull off this, and then we can uh, start uh, pulling out cables because it won't come out with the, the cables um, because they stick down onto it. So yeah, I can't pull out these uh, one-handed. Uh, quite tricky so I'm going to uh, cut away and then I'll be back with these two out. Um, this minor OS one, um, I'm actually going to, it's going to be down for now because I've got to swap it over to an SSD so I'll just do that in uh, my room. Um, I'm also going to pull this out into my room so um, yeah, I'll be back shortly. Um, so I've just kind of stacked up the switch on boxes and I've just screwed in the bottom two screws on it. Um, I know it's a bit wonky, I screwed in the wrong screw over here, I could fix it now. Um, but, so yeah, I'm going to put this up here and then hopefully try to get most of the network back online before I do this uh, swap on this machine and the other machine. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So um, I'll grab a light, screwed it in the right holes this time, I've got two in there, um, one in on this side, uh, I think this is a better screw, there are different types. So. Yep, this switch is mounted. Um, I'm going to pipe up to the PFSense box again. Um, uh, yeah, I've just got boxes holding it back because I don't know how well these screws are going to hold. I um, really need to get some more good ones, but yeah, that's what I'm working with right now. So um, you can probably hear the noise difference from this clip to the last clip, and you can hear how much of a difference it is. You know, this one's just so... Um, much louder, so yeah, I'm going to go through uh, the iDRAC in this one and um, SSD in the Minecraft server and then we'll put them back and this will replace 
that one. Um, get, I'll get this out of my rack. Um, I won't really put it back in. So yeah, we're just kind of like plugged in everything into the switch, just mismatch. Um, the WAN switch is not up and running right now, so it's just this one. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So um, I'm going to install the iDRAC in it, just goes under this card here. Uh, this is my one of my Intel 4 port network cards. Um, so yeah, it's got two hard drives of server, um, one CPU, four DIMMs, RAM, power supply, um, little board, it's got two internal USB ports, um, I'll probably do a separate video on like power up, how noisy the server is, and like, uh, reviewing it and stuff, but, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna remove this card, and, uh, put that iDRAC in, I don't know how much of it I'll be able to get on the video though, so I've just put in the iDRAC, uh, non-enterprise, uh, what's standard, whatever it's called, um, and then I've got to go grab the enterprise, I don't know how this actually goes in, so I'm just kind of winging it, um, so, yeah, I'm grinding myself, I don't have any static wristbands are on or anything, um, but this goes into that port here, and then that should, uh, see it lines up there, so I'm assuming we just, uh, push, Okay, I might put the phone down because I don't want to break anything, but yeah, so I think that's how it goes in. With this one, I just uh, slotted that little p piece of the PCB sticking out, and then pushed it down. Um, so, just got it installed, yeah, just kind of had to push down, you know, kind of trust that it doesn't break. I'm just going to install the uh, network card back in now, so that just kind of slots in there, you pull up that thing. So, yeah. Um, so as you can see here, we have, uh, it installed, it's installed quite nicely, uh, you know, so there's the, uh, standard edition, the enterprise edition here, and then my PCIe card, it's just got enough clearance, um, you know, really compact. Um, what, what I was thinking about doing, but I didn't in the end, because I got that new host, is, uh, you can get an adapter that makes the CD drive bay a two and a half inch bay, so you could throw, like, your, uh, uh, SSD with your OS on there, and then you, these use these two drives for storage, or have a third drive. Uh, or have like three two and a half inch drives as, uh, and we have one as a hot spare or something. So yeah. So I just filmed the uh, video for the review of the server and power up of it. Um, once I installed that iDRAC, it was much quieter than uh, before. So. Uh, if your Dell servers are quite loud, it seems the solution would be install an iDRAC. So, um, I'm just powering this up with, uh, the iDRAC installed, uh, to, to the monitor. Um, so the keyboard in the back. You can plug it in the front, like I said, uh, but, uh, it's just easier for me in the back. Um, so, it should be finding signal, yep. So... Um, go through, um, and then it'll come up with, uh, um, yes, yeah, so those are my hard drives, um, sorry about that, I was just checking, uh, control E, so, um, then we have iDRAC, uh, iDRAC config, so I've, I can, uh, I gotta check if this is the latest version or not, if it's not, I'll do an update video, but, and there we can see, like, I can do the shared, and I can do the dedicated, um, and then it is all these things, uh, so, um, yeah, you can, like, set your IP and stuff, um, so, yeah, um, I'll do all that and then I'll get back to you. So as my screen capture is again not working today, um, I'm just going to have to do this, but what well, I've set the iDRAC up, uh, um, so I've got to, uh, I don't think this is the uh, latest version, so I'm going to have to update it. So I followed this guide for my R610 and it seemed to work, so I'll do this this time. So you've got to go to Dell support. Um, I'm in New Zealand, so I'll just choose the New Zealand one. 
and then you type in your server and um, so yeah you type in your server and you got to download this file um, it's the .exe in caps because that uh, means you don't need a Windows to make it work and then you log into the iDRAC and there's an update firmware right there um, and so you can update that um, and then you do that um, and so you can do that um, sometimes the iDRAC uh, be uh, because J they don't play nice with Java you need like an old version of Java or you need to like do a security exception or something um, but uh, so yeah this is just the uh, I'll put a link to this um, down below but uh, that's just the update thing so yeah we just download that so uh, thanks for watching everyone um, got the iDirect working in that server now so um, yeah um, I, the video before this was the uh, tour of the server or the next video will be but um, then we've got to put uh, swap out uh, this hard drive I wonder if I can get this Swap out this hard drive right here. Now it's quite dark over here, but uh, for an SSD. So yeah, this is my Minecraft server. Um, it's just got. Uh, I think it's custom built. I bought it off. Uh, um, off a local uh, like Craigslist thing over in New Zealand. So it's 260 watt power supply, core two duo. It's just got the fan here. Um, it's got three types of. Uh, if I remember correctly, yes it does. It has three types of uh, risers. So it has the server grade one, I can't remember the name for it. Um, it has a PCI and then it has a 2X or 1X under there. Yeah, it's 2X. So, yeah, it's just a super micro motherboard. So, they'll be in an upcoming video, either the next one or the one after that. So, uh, thanks for watching the, uh, the side track video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, uh, leave a comment um, if you have any questions and I'll be more than happy to answer it. Um, I am working on those videos uh, for those people that commented um, about uh, the software, how to set up some stuff. So uh, working on that, uh, um, I've ordered a microphone so hopefully that will come soon and I can make videos. So thanks for watching, um, hope you enjoyed the video, bye.